We're going to do demonstration now of measuring the diameter of the tree. So again, we're very interested in repeatability, being able to measure the same thing over and over so that we're precise in our measurements. And we also want to be as accurate as we can be, get a good measurement. It's not so easily seen on this tree, but most trees have a fairly prominent butt swell, meaning as you get closer to the base of the tree, it gets wider. So foresters take diameters at a standardized height, which is four and a half feet above the ground. There are two reasons. First of all, you're getting above that butt swell where the tree taper begins to be uniform for most trees not all trees. Secondly, it's a very convenient height at which to take the measurements. But again, you want to be precise. So the first thing you have to do is know where four and a half feet is. Now, you could, for every tree that you measure diameter, you could have a stick, a, a pole, a tape, and measure where four and a half feet is on every tree. You don't want to do that and take time to do that. So what you want to focus on initially when you're getting started is not where four and a half feet is on a tree, but four and a half feet on you. So, so we're going to look right here, and if you can see the scale, this is, uh, this is in feet and inches. So here's four feet, four feet, six inches, is five and a half is four and a half feet that hits right here so on me uh, today with the extension shirt I'm wearing it's right about where the bottom of the logo is so by making sure that this is the point across from which I take the diameter of the tree I can be consistent in my diameter heights without having to measure that every time so now we'll talk about the Biltmore stick. We'll show that first. So I'll put my old man glasses on. And what we're going to do is, again, let you see the scale of the tree. And we've already mentioned, as with tree height, this is based on being used at a distance of 25 inches from the eye. And again, the stick is 25 inches long. So you figure out where that is on you. And for me, it's just inside the end of my thumb. So that's where you want to hold the stick. So the way you make the measurement, and I'll come around here so you can see it, is you hold the stick at that distance. You place the stick at breast height, so I know where that is because we've measured that four and a half feet, and I hold my head steady. Uh, the key to precision and accuracy for the Biltmore stick is getting it at the right height above the ground and not moving your head. Uh, the common mistake people make is when they're looking at the stick is to do this. They move their head back and forth. What you want to do is hold your head steady at four and a half feet, slide with one eye open, slide the diameter or the Biltmore stick until the left edge lines up with the, the left edge of the stick lines up with the left edge of the tree. And then without moving your head sideways, you simply look to the right and the edge of the tree is going to cross this scale somewhere. And as I'm looking at it, it's between 17 and 18, which means that this tree is 17 and a half inches diameter at breast height, or we call it DBH. So that's the standard place. Uh, you, the features of trees is that most trees are not perfect circles if you were to uh, look at the diameter at breast height. They tend to be stretched in one direction more than the other. So one thing that you can do is 
do as I did, take the diameter using the Biltmore stick at one place on the tree, move 90 degrees to the other side of the tree, take it again, and it happens to be just a little over 17. So we're still going to call this tree 17 and a half inches. But let's suppose I had measured this tree and it were 18 inches here, 16 inches here, I would average the two and get 17. So especially uh, important where trees have a other than circular diameter.